We are looking for the girl. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ifo Alabi and today I have another trailer reaction video. So this trailer, right, is very interesting in the sense that when the photo of the movie came out, it caused such an uproar on social media because everybody was like, how dare she do this movie? And so this movie is called Where Hands Touch. It's by Ama Asante and Ama Asante is a British Ghanaian filmmaker. Someone I'm personally really, really like, I really like her movies. I'm really invested in her because I see her as, as one of the people that I aspire to be or like to learn from. So anyway, she's she's already done A United Kingdom. And if you don't know A United Kingdom, it's a movie featuring David Oyelowo and Rosamund Pike. It's about, um, two different people who have a love story so like is a black prince and then a white woman so i feel like there's a theme in most of ama santa's movie so this movie in particular where hands touch is about a black girl living in nazi germany and when the first picture came out look, good lord almighty i have never seen people be so angry and because she was like oh it's about how you know she found love with this nazi youth and you know how like everybody feels about nazis and like they are bad that's a general consensus. Everybody agrees that Nazis are bad. So, when this picture, when the synopsis of the movie came out, everybody felt like, why is she trying to like soften how people see Nazis? Or why is she trying to tell this story? And according to her, she said that she saw this, I think it was a book or a transcript of this movie a long time ago. And then she was interested in it and she always wanted to bring it to life. And then she actually was able to bring it to life. And... See, I'm talking child, right? Because the thing is that when I saw it, I was a bit conflicted about it. Because I'm like, this looks interesting. But at the same time, like, aren't there, like, other stories about black families living in Nazi Germany that she can tell? It wasn't until the Toronto Film Festival and I saw that, oh, the trailer was out. And, she, and that she even premiered it during the film festival. So I was like, let me just do this trailer reaction. Because I want to see what the buzz is about. I want to see why people are so angry. Why are we angry in 2018? Anyway, so yeah, that's it. So we are going to play the video down below. As always, we are going to play the video. We'll react to it and I'll tell you my snappy thoughts. I'll tell you what I think about the movie, whether or not it's worth going to watch. And I know like a trailer is too short to determine like the whole outlook of a movie, but then still, still, you put it out for a reason to pick our interest. So let's see if it does, you know, notch on our interest radar. <laughs> A lot of no, nasty stuff. She's your child. You want to find her? Damn. Ugh. I'm... Why are we going to Berlin? To be invisible. It wasn't that way. It's a true story. It was different. Where is me? Wherever you go, they will protect you. As I reach 16, I realized Hitler had a plan for us. We have a new girl joining us today. Her name is Lena Schlegel. It's a good drama name, but your face is so amdra. Schlegel is my mother's name. Should we be going to that?
okay so by the time i post this video i'm sure the movie will already be out in select theaters which means ghana is not even part so i'm sure i will see it probably when it goes on netflix or any of the streaming services oh good god almighty actually that show in this country so anyways it's interesting um I'm, i feel very conflicted about it right because i feel like okay this movie looks interesting but at the same time god there is so much nazi paraphernalia like okay and you see that's the thing a lot of people are like why are you concerned about it you see um when you hear about nazi germany all you hear like all you think about is the fact that they killed so many jews right but then we forget that like there were other nationalities in germany and how like um the black people in germany were already like already black people everywhere are seen as monkeys you're already seen as a type of way so the fact that there were black people in germany that also faced you know racism that faced like oppression and i'm sure like this is a story i don't know we haven't seen the, the girl's mother so hey i mean the girl's dad so i think the dad is black she's white she's mixed <sighs> Okay, so this is the thing, right? I feel like Amanda Steinberg has been in a lot of movies this year, a lot of controversial movies this year, because this is not the only one. I think this is one where hands touch. I think she's in the one about the shooting. Oh my god, I forgot the name of the movie, the title of the movie. But this is the thing, I feel like Amanda Steinberg has been in a lot, a lot of movies, and I feel like people are having hair fatigue. I don't know if it's just me, but from what I've been seeing on the internet, it seems like a lot of people are tired of hair. But this movie looks interesting i'll probably watch it with like i don't know i don't want to you see the thing there's a thing right I, and i never want to go and watch a movie with like preconceived notions because i feel like every movie should be like on a fresh like you know slate i should watch a movie with fresh eyes i should see what's about but at the same time this is like nazi germany right so it's like mm, are we really going to do this and i get i'm a scientist vision right i get trying to tell a new story and i'm not even good like if it were up to me and i could do it i don't know I, I really don't know i'm very conflicted about the movie so far but i'll be waiting to actually watch it and see what's about already a lot of people are calling for the cancellation of the movie like they're canceling the movie they're canceling i'm because they're like they don't see understand why a black woman would deign to do this and i'm like i mean people have like different things they do i mean first of all there are movies that do hail satan and like if you're a christian watching you're like really are we really doing this but i feel like it's different strokes for different people right so i'm sure this is one of the strokes for different people i am going to watch it because I, i'm biased towards a mass and so i am going to watch it but i don't know tell me what you think about it are you really going to watch where hands touch are you really like why did they do the movie or you're like okay you want to see what the movie is about me personally i really want to see what the movie is about i want to see what the fuss is about not like what the fuss is about i know what the fuss is about but i want to see whether they are able to like like you know the language or like the vision i want to see whether the vision was carried out to the end to show how like you know this love story in like such an oppressive system i want to see if like the vision was carried out to the end or not i mean hey who knows anyways my name is ifo alabi thank you so much for subscribing to my channel wait if you're not subscribed to my channel why aren't you subscribed to my channel i'm just saying so anyways thank you so much for subscribing to my channel um click on any other links to watch my other videos and come back next week to watch the next video okay i'll see you